Hello everyone, welcome to your 14th grasshopper tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to manipulate spheres based on um, a surface's curve. And so we can just start. Um, so basically, we're gonna have like a certain uh, surface with, with curves in it. And the radius of the spheres on this curve is gonna be determined based on the on its location on the surface so it's really um it depends on uh surface curvature and surface analysis which we learned in tutorial 13 i think um okay so first thing you want to do is go to your top view and then draw two lines so we're gonna draw something like this and make it a bit um try to make it almost like a bit far from each other, these lines, and then go to your perspective and then hit uh, your uh, points and then control and drag. Same thing for the other one and drag up. Now you can make any anything you want, uh, just make sure it's almost close to what we're doing here. So, next thing you want to do is do a lot, hit OK. And you have your surface here. So we'll open Grasshopper. And first thing you want to do is double click and get a surface. So if you right click and then set on surface, you click this surface. Now there's something we call in Grasshopper, it's, it's um, internalized data. And what it means that you don't need um, geometries in your Rhino to be able to work with um, Okay, so I'll show you. If we delete this, then it's wrong and there's like an error. So what you can do is if you right click, hit internalize data. You can see that when I remove it now, it's already inside Rhino, I mean Grasshopper, and you don't need any geometry in your Rhino file. So this is uh, one of the things you can actually use um, in Grasshopper. So I really like it when I can see my Although I don't need it, but I feel better when there is um, a geometry in Rhino. But it's, it, it's up to you if you want to internalize the data or not. So after you're done um, like creating your surface, you just double click and type in divide surface. So this is where we get our U and V points. So you can see we have a bunch of points on our U and V um, coordinates. So I want to be able to manipulate these points, so just get a number slider, hit edit, and then click and um, write, let's say 40. Okay, so we just connect here and connect the other. So this is perfect, you have a bunch of points on a, on a surface. And now what we really want to do is get some spheres. And I like if you get a sphere like right now, just double click hit sphere. If you connect the point to the sphere, we can have um, a bunch of spheres with a, a set radius, and the radius is usually one, I think. Yeah. And what I want to do now is actually make these spheres um, like with different radiuses based on their locations on this uh, surface. So. There is a way to do it. You just double click and type in curve analysis. Oops. I mean surface analysis. Okay. Oh, surface curvature. Okay. So if you just connect your surface to this one here and your UV, connect it to the UV here. Now, if you just connect the, the mean, which is the last one here, to your radius, you see that nothing happens. And the thing is, if you get a panel and you connect it, uh, you can you will see that we have negative um, values, and in radius, like radius of a sphere, can never be negative. So what we need to do is actually get a um, something we call. Um, if you go to your map, uh, we have something called evaluate, and evaluate is basically writing formula which will affect um, the definitions that you write so when you, when someone like when you double click and then write evaluate we have like three four evaluate um, options you actually want to use this one which is the evaluate um, expression so 
what you want to do is connect your panel to the um, the X and right click oh no sorry I mean right click on your expression and you can just write the expression here um, there's another way to write the expression if you just double click type in panel and you can double click and write your expression here but I really prefer it when we do the right click on the uh, letter F or the formula uh, in the expression editor. So what you want to do is actually first thing you want to do is make this um, in the positive and to make it in the positive there's something in math called absolute and we can just write abs for absolute write parentheses and then inside write x plus now you really want the numbers here to change um, based like x plus these numbers so you really don't want the number to be too high uh, i mean if you try plus one or plus five or plus 0.5 it won't really affect uh the numbers will be so um well not as effective as if it was just a really small number like 0 0.05 and i want to add a slider to the y also so you just type in times y and then commit the changes now it's wrong because you actually need a slider for the Y. Right click, hit edit, and then um, you don't want to change here, you just want to double click and try typing 20, and then just connect the Y here. So it's a pretty uh, straightforward method, but it's actually uh, really useful. Uh, now if you just get another panel, you're going to notice that the numbers changed and it's actually um, like it's all in the positive and the radius is okay to go. So let's just try to connect this here and see what happens. So we can see like the spheres are a bit small now so what we want to do is just add in more uh, number to the Y and you can see now that we have uh, the spheres have changed the radiuses based on uh, their location like the more flat the surface is the smaller the spheres are and the more there's a curve in it the bigger the spheres are so i would advise you to like play around with this more and check um how it looks so if you just want to see it better just go to your surface and hide the preview and you can see that we have a bunch of um spheres that are affected like the radius of the spheres are affected based on their location of the curve so yeah i think this is it for this tutorial thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next tutorial